course, it was such a tragic event to get that phone call. I mean, I think it was 45 minutes after that that, that happened. Um, and it was a night that I'll personally never forget. But, um, you know, for me, Dime, I, I've said it over and over again, Dime was just one of those guys that if anybody deserved to be a rock star, it was him. I mean, I've never seen a kinder heart in anybody. Um, he was so selfless, never seen him angry, not even one time. I don't even think in his worst hangover did I see him get irritable with his brother or anybody. Um, and uh, one, of my, one of my favorite memories from Dime is when I went to go see Shannon's old band, Wrathchild America. They were playing with Pantera on the Cowboys from Hell Tour at the Channel in Boston. And um, that's when Shannon introduced me to Dime. And Dime was in the back while there was a band on before Wrathchild the local opening band, and the pit started and people getting thrown out the back door by security. And Dimebag was charging him $10 to let him back in the back door. <laughs> and so I thought that was pretty awesome and I was just like, who is this guy? That's, that's, that's great. Um, and you know, he's just somebody that like, I really miss a lot. And uh, he's, my name, my nickname was Stoli with him. He could never say Sully, so it was always, Stoli, come over here and do a shot, boy. Um, but yeah, man, he's, and, and I got to tell you, as far as uh, his, you know, his capability as a guitar player, I, I don't even think it really hit me until recently I watched uh, a YouTube video someone um, sent to me, and it was with uh, Phil and Zach and Rex doing Broken. And, uh, and I'm thinking, all right, Zach, you know, maybe Zach could pull this off. Like, he's amazing. And even with that, like, he just didn't kill it. And I started thinking, wow, that goes to show you that you know, if someone like Zach has a little bit of trouble with some guitar leads, which he doesn't have trouble with anything, it goes to show you the magnitude that that guy played at. I mean, he was an anomaly for sure, and um, will be will be missed forever. We met him. I've known him since um, 2000 on the second Ozfest. Um, what a special person he was. He was just a very kind-hearted person. Like to drink. I had to learn how to drink with him. Um, <laughs> He loved that, but he was just a special person. It was just idiotic on what happened. It was, it's still to this day, I have you know, bad words I want to say about idiots that I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I'll never get it. We did a tour with them. Uh, I would say he's a fun guy. He's always funny and fun, you know, and he's a great player too. Um, but one experience I had with him was we always had a drum set and an amps in our dressing room, and he came in to hang out, you know. And uh, he jumped on the kit and just started whacking away. And uh, he goes, I'll oh, play the guitar. So I started playing guitar with him and he was on drums and you know, we riffed for five or 10 minutes. And it was just a moment, but it was a definite memory that stuck with me. Yeah, he was me, a good dude. Me jamming with him on drums. <laughs>